Hi, my name is John Mack, and I've been in the construction industry for 36 years. I've been doing BIM now spanning four decades. Started in the 1990s, moved to the 2000s, 2010s, and now 2020s. It started in 1992 as a hobby. I started my own business, and I was doing plumbing design for the plumbing companies I was working for. In 1994, I was approached by a company to start a 3D department doing BIM before it was even called BIM that was supposed to be a bunch of people out of the field modeling in 3D and kind of building the building in the digital twin before the building was actually built. To my knowledge, this department was the first of its kind in the United States. BIM is the noun. Think of that as the 3D model. And VDC is the verb. That is what we do with the model to achieve what we're gonna do in construction. Um, I would say that this, using these methodologies probably allow us to be 90 to 95% accurate and having all of the problems solved in a building before we even start building it. BIM provides predictability of schedule and cost sooner on a project. Having a three-dimensional model allows us to be more predictable in these areas to deliver a much better product to our client. 20 years ago, the MEP was just M&P, mechanical and piping. Back then, we did 3D modeling to enhance our prefabrication and we didn't have the other trades modeling, so it was just us basically versus the world. Today, now you have MEP, F, fire protection, you also have structural and you also have architectural. So now we're truly building a a first run study of the building by doing 3D model for all the trades, architecturally structural, and have a much better suited model than we did 20 years ago. Where I see BIM now in, in going forward is right now BIM has gotten to the point where we're building a digital twin of the building. All trades are throwing into the model and this allows us to have a better predictability in cost and schedule long before we did in traditional methods. In doing this, we can basically iron out all of our issues, get all the RFIs in before we get in the field. The sooner we answer these things in the schedule, the less expensive it is for our client and it also makes a better delivery when we actually get into the install in the field. My favorite part of working for the dial department in Dome is my boss, Steve Long. Steve is a pleasure to work for and I really enjoy being around him. It seems from the start, he and I just kind of click together and we think alike. Um, we're often thinking the same thing and working to solve the same issues at the same time. It makes things really convenient when I'm working with him, makes things very predictable for him when he's asking me to do things. I think the two of us together are gonna do great things in the department and do really great things for Dome.